These are the top 5 beginner guns in Phantom Forces. Before I start with the list, I just want to preface this by saying this is my objective opinion. This video is intended to help players under level 20 and 30 and steer them in the right direction towards guns that will aid in their leveling process while also being fun. Phantom Forces has a lot of good beginner weapons. These are just the ones that are in my opinion easiest to use, viable in combat, and easy to obtain. This list is in no particular order, so keep that in mind. Starting off at number 1 we have the Recon DMR, the Mark 11. With a base torso damage of 54 and headshot damage of 67.5, it's nice to have a beginner marksman rifle that reliably two taps enemies. The Mark 11 has a fast recoil reset and a crisp recoil pattern, leading the gun to be a reliably accurate weapon for new players. With a gentle damage falloff of 16% at 160 studs, it doesn't suffer at range like a lot of weapons do, making it a reliable counter sniper weapon for most players. Pair it with a 20 plus 1 capacity and a walk speed of 14, you can fight both at range and close quarters, making it a reliable and versatile weapon for newcomers. At number 2, we have the Russian Mob Slayer itself, the KSG-12. This is probably the easiest to use pump shotgun in the game, with a completely unnecessary ammo capacity of 14 shells plus 1 in the chamber. The average newcomer will have to worry about dying before they have to reload. And with the added benefit of being able to unlock the KSG-25 barrel, giving you 25 entire shells of pure taxpayer dollars, giving you as many rounds as the E-Gun. This shotgun is a noob's haven, boasting a high ammo count, no damage fall off until 50 studs, a speedy fire rate of 150 rounds per minute for a pump shotgun, a walk speed of 14, 6 different ammo types, and is unlockable at the low rank of level 1. Not to mention, this monster has almost double the max capacity of any shotgun in the game. When using the KSG-25 barrel, and then equipping either the mini slugs or mini shells, you can fit an ungodly 37 total shells in this thing, just in case you wanted to kill almost the entire enemy team with two shots each. Next in line we have the Scout PDW, the MP7. With it being almost impossible to get your hands on in the US, we have to go into a Roblox game to have it. This is not a ranged weapon by any means, this is fitting the niche of being up close and personal and overwhelming to enemies, especially on maps like Warehouse, Metro, Transit, and Black Sight. This is a new player's run and gun dream, with a small compact package, a blistering 950 rounds per minute, a walk speed of 14, and a fairly accurate recoil pattern at close range. This little import band does suffer at range however, with a very short distance of 20 studs until the damage starts to fall off. Damage goes from 30 to 17 in 90 studs almost a 50% decrease. If you want something fast and fun for close range, this is it. Just don't expect it to be super reliable at medium range. Coming in at number 4 is a tried and true assault rifle, the SCAR-L. Pretty much all of the assault rifles up to level 30 are viable in their own right. In my personal opinion, the SCAR-L is best suited for new players. With a good base torso damage of 33, headshot damage of 46, and a soft damage fall off of 25% at 120 studs, the SCAR-L is a very reliable killer. Its lower fire rate lets you get consistent tracing and follow-up shots while maintaining accuracy at longer ranges. The recoil pattern of the SCAR-L is perfectly suited for players not used to the game mechanics yet. With mostly vertical rise and a little horizontal spread, it makes it very easy to control, especially with a 2-2-3 Remington conversion. This is a solid gun to use even up until rank 50. While it does get overshadowed by many other guns as you level more, it's still a nice and easy gun to use, giving it a reliable Toyota Camry feel as opposed to a convertible. Finally at number 5 we have everyone's favorite rust quickscoper, the Intervention. Both the Remington 700 and the Intervention are good reliable snipers for new players to use, however taking into consideration consideration the fact that the Intervention is a starter weapon at level 0, and has stats like a level 50+, plus, it beats out the 700. This is probably the best starter sniper in any game, especially Roblox. With a base torso damage of 99.9, .9, headshot damage of 270, and a mere 1.111 repeating ones damage falloff at 250 studs, you could be framed for so many political assassinations with this thing. Now, send in the ERT team, take out the steam. It's a little cumbersome with a walk speed of 11.81, but this is meant to be a sniper. This is meant for players to be able to sit in a perch and get some easy XP so they can get some better stuff like the BFG50 carbine. Go check out my video on that. This big angry death tube also has a generous capacity of 7 plus 1 and has a light speed muzzle velocity of 3200 studs per second, giving it the fastest muzzle velocity of any sniper's default chambering in the game, because apparently that was a good idea of the devs. By the way, you can boost that to 3800 if you use the 357 shy attack instead of the 408, just in case you wanted to shoot down an F-35 over South Carolina before it could escape. In conclusion, Phantom Forces is a very generous game in regards to its low level weapons, offering players lots of solid choices in what they want to evacuate brain cavities with. This video was just to try and help those of you who are confused and need a little help on your feet before you get into the sweat filled world of never touch grassistan that is phantom forces i hope you enjoy let me know if you want more beginner series content down below see ya